PSI, Green Stormwater Infrastructure, is, uh, is used to help replace the natural functions that are lost when we develop areas. When the rain falls on our rooftops and our streets and, and our parking lots, it can no longer soak into the soil. So what we have instead is very large quantities of water running off, becoming surface runoff, and it runs off very quickly to our, to our lakes and streams and rivers, and it picks up pollutants along the way. GSI helps us to manage stormwater in a, in a way that's closer to the way nature did when the region was covered by prairies and forests. We have a lot of tools in the toolbox. There's rain gardens, permeable pavement, vegetated roofs or green walls, rainwater harvesting with cisterns, and tree retention and planting. There's a space for these controls everywhere, and you get to be part of the solution. Basically, a rain garden is a bowl-shaped garden filled with spongy soils and plants that love to get soaked once in a while, but can also handle drying out. With that bowl, you can direct quite a bit of water into it and allow it to soak back into the groundwater, not running off into our water bodies. A lot of the first rain gardens we built were for people who had drainage problems on their property. And by putting in some green infrastructure that gets better over time, uh, they were able to solve that problem and actually dry out their basements. A lot of people do it because they've heard of rain gardens, they've started to see them in their neighbor's yards, and they're like, dang, these are beautiful. I want one of those. It seems healthy, it seems vibrant. I don't have to mow it. So it's, it's generally a lower, lower maintenance landscape. And of course, added air quality and just a, an opportunity to do something for your larger community at your own home. The Rainrise program is a program that helps people get rain gardens in their yard, like mine. I got in contact with a landscaper and a rain garden installer. They're flexible and they listen to what I wanted, and so I got exactly the garden that I designed. It's an awesome program, you know, it helps the earth, it helps your yard. I feel that my garden really represents what I am and what my family is, and something that I can actually maintain. Ours was the first, as far as I know, the first block in the whole project. The landscaping in particular is just stunning. I mean, we have year-round color, a color now, it's color in the early spring. It rolls through, it seems to be almost zero maintenance. And one of the most fun things for me is that um, we've had a couple of just monsoon-like rainstorms. And the rain garden was taking all of that huge amount of water. It filled up as designed, and then it overflowed and went down to the next and filled it up. And I was impressed because there was a ton of water coming down. We personally feel like it probably added a great deal to the property value of all of our collective homes. Everybody loves Puget Sound. You know, we look out on the water and it's beautiful and it's one of the most important reasons why we live here. This is a, a way to protect it. Each one of these rain gardens, each home rain garden, captures, you know, 10 to 20,000 gallons a year. Um, and every homeowner who puts one in, uh, whether it's a rain garden, whether it's a cistern or a combination of the two or a green roof too, um, all of those things actually make really significant differences. I highly encourage anyone um, to look into what opportunity they have to be part of the solution.